It's Friday. So right now I am up in the bridge lounge of my building. Um, you can look across here. Out there is the courtyard. And then if you turn back that way, there's Taylor Hall. And that's the parking lot where the shootings happened back in 1970. So yeah. Lurk, a shooting friend. Yay. All right. So enough with the nonsense, we're going to get to today's topic, which is books. And this video is going to come in four, four parts, might be even more. I'm halfway through Paper Towns, and I am loving it. I am loving all the, the funny, snarky stuff that's happening in it, all the stupid jokes. And um, I'm now getting a bunch of stuff that I'm watching in the Vlogbrothers series. Um, now that I'm getting to reading the book and I'm over halfway through it now, so that was part one. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about the book, the last book I'll probably read for this semester. And I'm actually looking forward to reading it. I've already read through the pro prologue. It's called Fires in the Middle School Bathroom. It's actually a book comprised of advice from middle schoolers to their teachers. Uh, basically what they would want their teachers to know before they take on the role of becoming a middle school teacher. Um, so the original book was called Fires in the Bathroom, uh, which was uh, a book comprised of high school advice for high school teachers um, so that they could see and hear and know what, what high schoolers are thinking about, what high schoolers want them to know so that they can teach better. The uh, Fires in the Middle School Bathroom actually was a sequel to that book for t teachers in the middle school era and it's it has a bunch of different chapters uh, on different subjects uh, basically the question is asked or a uh, middle schooler asks a question and gives advice um, on certain topics so that's pretty much all I have for the books right now because today's been real busy and that leads to part three. Part three is this weekend is Little Sips weekend, as you know. Uh, you couldn't be up here, which is sad, but oh well. To, so today, the first thing I did for Little Sips weekend was ride on the back of a golf cart, get soaked, and then I worked a magic show for four hours. Yeah. Actually, two magic shows. But it's actually pretty cool because the guy... He was a, he's a former student, he's actually going to Ohio State right now, and he's, he graduated a year after I did, and he was a pretty, uh, pretty cool guy, pretty cool magician, he kept the, the comedy um, part aspect of the show, which made the show even more interesting and, and entertaining, um, so the rest of this weekend is dedicated to Little Sibs, all, all the students here have either brought their Little Sibs or someone who they consider a Little Sibling, and uh, there's a bunch of activities. So tomorrow, actually, for my haul, um, I'll actually be running an activity program on the third floor of A, which is that way as I look. Because um, I'm sitting on the windowsill looking out towards the roundabout there. Anyway, I'll be running that program. I get to make spaceships with my roommate and all the siblings that come up and want to come make spaceships. Um, and then Sunday, I get to go to the Akron Rubber Ducks game, which I'm looking forward to. Um, the game starts at 2, so we'll be leaving around 12 o'clock um, going up there, and that'll be this weekend. Pot full. The next couple minutes will be sideways for some reason. I don't know why it's doing it. I can't fix it, so get over it. So Cody, as you know, I took my practice yesterday. I had to drive from campus down to Worcester about 45 minutes to go take my test because that was the earliest one I could take was down in that testing center. And I passed my reading and my math because um, those scores you know right away as soon as you finish the test. The writing section, however, will take about two weeks or 15 days, give or take a couple days to get these scores because there was a written segment and they've got to grade that written segment um, and I'll get those scores in an email and hopefully I pass that and that way I won't have to retake the praxis and I won't have to 
have a big Charlie Fox Foxtrot in my uh, my schedule planning in my course planning for the rest of the time that I'm up here at Kent State. Bonus part. Yesterday, as uh, as I got back from the stadium, as I parked my car down the stadium and I got back, actually. That leads me to another story. Easily distracted, but who cares? I'm not going to edit this out either. Um, actually, before I left to go take my test, uh, when I was down at the stadium, I witnessed an accident. Some guy in an SUV ran into a car and took off the front bumper of a red Cavalier. Uh, and it happened, like, right in front of me. So it was like, all I could think of is both times I tried to take my practice, I've witnessed or been a part of an accident. Like, like not part of it myself, but been caught up by an accident. So I, I ran to the, the bus stop and called the, the Kent police so that they could get somebody down there and check it out and see what all, what all was going on and take care of that. But anyway, after I got back and I parked my car down the stadium and I took the bus back, yesterday was also Flash Fest, which is the big end of the year hoopla here at Kent State. We have a bunch of, it's kind of like the fair for Kent State. We have a bunch of vendors come in um, and then there's a bunch of artists, and then there's a big, big name artist. So um, I got back right near the end of the Capital Cities concert, which they were the main artists this year. And I caught the tail end of one song, um, and I got to be there. Hey, rip it up! Oh, hi, Full Metal Jacket. There for the entire Safe and Sound uh, part of the concert, which was the second to last song. And that's really one of the only songs I wanted to hear. I'm, I'm glad I got to be there and hear it live. I get to say I've heard Safe and Sound by Capital Cities live because it's a, like a really popular song. Um, but anyway, I didn't even realize that yesterday was Flash Fest until I was taking the bus down the stadium so that I could go take, so I could drive to Worcester and go take my test. Um, I saw a bunch of things set up. I'm like, oh, shoot, today's Flash Fest. And I, I, I missed it. I, I completely missed it. Um, except for the tail end of that concert. And then afterwards, I got to meet the trumpeter, uh, Spencer Ludwig, um, who plays the trumpet section on the song and plays it during the live performances, um, which was pretty cool. And there was a bunch of other, well, several of the other band members were out there, and I tried to get a picture with them, but they left before I could get up in there because there was a bunch of girls and guys and people were getting in there that were just crowding in, and I, I, I just let them go. So... Yep, that was that. So I got to see Capital Cities. I got to meet some of them. And uh, so I think the tail end of this video is going to be some footage from the Capital Cities um, Capital Cities concert. Yeah, thingy. My bobber. Yeah. 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 Cody, don't forget to be awesome.